Hi there, welcome back to the Masters of Magic with a Create Expert Run playthrough. Whatever you want. Wow, we're here. We're on our way back. We're always on a on a way back. <laughs> and you see why we rested here. There was just something moving around here. And these are probably yeah, Piercer Modis or Juggernauts plus. Uh, very dangerous casters. We've just come from Anika and now now on our way to Martin's Bluff. Chief. And I think we should bind here. What now? Because yeah. There's really, really like <laughs> these set portals are so good. They make your life so much easier, and this is why I'm Bullshit. using them ex excessively. Like they're so much worth it to um, to pick them. You bellowed. And also X-ray. X-ray is another of these spells. You'll instantly see if there's something around the edge. It'll make you look through walls. Come on, that's. Absolutely awesome. We're just here. We left Anika. And there you can even see with X-ray on the map. Opponents, more opponents, more opponents. Even in the unexplored territory. So um if X-ray available, there's also excellent X-ray. I know that's like that sounds like an alliteration. And uh there's that excellent X-ray for the gadgeteer can instantly like all the time recast if you want that's so much help yeah that's one of the best things you can you can have with your now let's look at that level seven this means these are not that strong guys this means we're okay with our level seven magic uh, level six magic screen if they want to go for us but they don't also don't give like much XP or something like that, so it's okay if we pass them up. <laughs> we'll just proceed to go to Trinton and then to Morton's Bluff and then don't know where and we can usually run. Uh, see, there's something coming and we know it now. So how do we prepare? Need to run circles around it a bit, so we can see it from a distance safely. Hmm. Now we cannot. <laughs> Something on the other side. I'll go back here. Uh, these are plants. Acid vines. Oh, this means they are not very high level. We can More safely go there. And attack. This is a one-man job. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we're doing here. I just want to practice the sonic boom. So we'll go for the sonic boom. I'm on it. Just like that. Of course, a fireball always helps. Right then. Bam, there we go. Noxious Fumes, one of the best spells in the early game. With pleasure. For me at least. It also does damage. <laughs> and with a priest, yeah. Priests don't get many attack spells. So we'll just go for a uh, make wounds. Some more fire. Fire against Taking plants is pretty straightforward. More noxious fumes by Flara, our ranger. Very well. And I think we want to, um, we want to wait a little bit. Let's see, we have. Always forget if it's the iron weed. That's. Yeah, I, can, I think we cannot see the iron weed right now, so right we'll then. wait. Acid vines can only give us like the usual thing. Like I think. Irritating skin or something like that. 
Uh, yeah, uh, here. Here we go. The iron weeds, I think, can blind us, so. That would be much harder. Bam! <laughs> there we go. Nice stuff, nice stuff. My illness be gone. Right, much better. Power cast's gone up. Even two times, and oh, there's some. Well, thank goodness that's behind me. I think me. there's some Feel crimson like poppies again. coming. Is there? Yeah. Crimson poppies are okay. Don't fear those crimson poppies. We'll practice our single target spells right. against them. Rejoice! Rejoice! Oh, yeah, let's go for make wounds instantly. Don't need a bless against them. Oh, right max there. level frost. Acid splash! My pleasure. Mind stab! Yeah, well. Taken care of. Aggressive! Oh, she has none, but you no know, single targets for well, but Razor Cloak is just as good for us. Will we, like, make it to Martin's Bluff in this episode? Maybe not. Wow. That acid splash, really pitiful. The rest? Yeah, we killed one of them. Could also have gone for the... Um, I'm on it. More aggressive... Area spells, but still... Yeah, we can do that still, a little bit. <laughs> right then. And they're now coming in range for that too, so that's better. Right now. I'll go for a level 1 blinding flash. With pleasure. Just because I don't want them to run away, <laughs> but I want to practice it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Taken sneaky tactic. We're going sneaky. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Very well. And yeah, some paralyzes Aye. and still a blessing. Why not now go for a blessing? They're coming near I'm and we need it. the armor. Aye. There we go, all the colorful triangles. I mean, good things for us, the colorful triangles. One is even blind, wow. Oh, we're varying our performance art here. I'm on it. And we can now cast armor play too, wow. We should practice it with none. What else do we have here? Uh, we could go for a terror, just a low level one, so they don't run. Right then. I said that before, and it, it didn't work, but <laughs> we're trying it again. And an itching skin. With pleasure. I'm not sure anymore. I think they can be affected by itching skin. Yeah, they're not immune to it. This means they can be affected. It'll make their leaves itch. <laughs> Ah, yeah, um... Yeah, let's try the Paralyze again. They're so red, maybe they're affected by water spells. Good. <laughs> yeah, like, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, does it make sense? Probably not. Guardian Angel is good for... Oh, for Flara. Um, more Razor Cloaks, always good. Yeah. Very well. Take that. Hola, podrida. Run away! Run away! Why didn't I cast anything with yeah. a Valkyrie? Oh no. Most I forgot. Alcazar. 
They're not afraid anymore. Ah. Ouch. Yeah, what are we doing now? I think we should just kill them. Our energy blast and stuff. Let's do that. Let's go for the single target madness. Lesser condition means sleep, yeah. Very well. Heal him. Mind stand. Take him care of. Make wounds. I. I don't know. Make more wounds. I'm on it. Some motor guns. Nice. Woke up. Oh, come on. Alcazar. All these soothing fragrances. Uh, should we heal him? No, I think it's okay. I'll Very wake well. him up again. Ouch. <laughs> nice. And now more more damage, please. We need more damage! More dots! We Give pleasure. me more dots! I want to heal Scrub Wave. Very well. Now come on. Ah! Where did I click now? What the hell is going on? I don't want my... I hate this of my antivirus thing. Always it pops up in the, I'm in the middle of anything and it pops up and says... I'm thinking like, oh, what's going on? This is a virus. And then it pops up and says, whoa, 700,000 files scanned. <laughs> we didn't find a virus. Oh, thank you so much for scaring me. <laughs> Very well. Thank you so much. Why are we scared of computer viruses? I am scared because it means a lot of work to get rid of these buggers. I'm on it. Uh. Are you afraid too? I'm always like, ah, oh, no. No, even if there's a hint of something going wrong, I'm so... No. Yeah, I was once webmaster when I was still studying for the university and there was like pretty, s yeah, you know, users, yeah. <laughs> users that don't have much experiences with a intricate design of, of computers. Yes. And then we had such problems. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, they, they didn't at all save the data. Like, they, they had uh, one backup every, I think, four months. And I was paranoid. And so I saved, like, I saved them on my personal computer. I saved all the data of the linguistics department. <laughs> like, all the data, because I was responsible for them. And I thought, like, anyone goes in there and does some funny things and I have work without end so I saved it up what happened like two months later that thing was hacked <laughs> oh. like all all uh, files were overwritten with like text files uh, standing Look inside where like coming. well it was a slogan like um, no work and all play makes John a good day or something like that, was it? And like there was madness in the linguistics department. And fear, anger, all of that stuff. And I was there with my portable flash stick. Saving them. <laughs> oh. oh my, oh my god, I, I think... I. Th I think back and I thought, well, how could they have been so careless? Careless. <laughs> they were even designing new computer languages there, you know. So 
so they should have known they, they could program and all like that but they yeah well they were pretty thankful when I restored like months of work <laughs> ah good times good times <laughs> Uh, it was back when you could fit like the whole university homepage on a flash drive with four gigs or something. I think it they was sixteen, no but still. Fear, for the enemy was weak. Just making it sound older than it is. <laughs> I'm on it. But now let's see. This swallower is it? Is it going for what our then? data as well? I want to integrate our data into its stomach. Uh. Taken care of. I. Uh, I know we want to disintegrate it. <laughs> I'm on yeah, it. cry all you want. You have no chance against the mighty masters of magic. Very well. There we go. You'll see. Oh, no. Bam! Oh, no. Fourteen damage already. We're so good. Another 18. Another 23. More and more damage. Incredible. The strength. The strength is unthinkable. It's uncompared. I'm on it. Because I haven't compared it to anything yet, so. That's better. Yeah. Right then. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's fuck around a bit with the, the air. With pleasure. And maybe, yeah, more of that. Very well. More of that. A little bit of fire. Taken care of. Let's try the paralysis on that thing. Someone recently told me about a nice method to beat the monastery. Uh, it was on Steam, I think. I'll have to try that out in time. That will make for a fun playthrough. I'm on it. Oh, don't eat why. She'll like pierce through you from the inside with her long uh, lens. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we're getting swamped here. Soon we're getting swamped. Watch that. There's the swamp coming. New area. Very nice, the swamp. Now, the swamp is pretty dangerous. See what level we are. Yeah, for level 10, 11, the swamp is very dangerous. So I think we're going to rest yep. here. The swamp, just as icky and gooey as I remember it being. You know, they used to have frogs here the size of a house. Maybe we'd better keep our eyes open. Well, the mad thing about the, f the swamp is like... <laughs> yeah, let's look at the map. You don't see anything on that map. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, like up there in the north, yeah, in the north, there are some people called the, the Rinjin, and they'll blast you up if you meet them. <laughs> Just like that, they'll blast you with their spells. And like on the other side, there are plenty of mosquito-like monsters. They're just unnerving. They're not pretty dangerous, but they are unnerving without end because they're everywhere, they're fast, they're getting you. So if you want to get away from them, you have not a really good chance. Everywhere there are also like some holes that will explode when you walk into them. Like you can see them sometimes, it's like little uh, parts of the ground going down or something like that. That will be one of these holes and oh, of course it's raining. I, I like that. It's it's beautiful view well, Next time we'll go for the swamp. We'll visit Croc who is like a zombie guy uh, leading a shop with absolutely crazy good items and uh, yeah 
and then we'll go from there to Martin's Bluff, which is not a long way. So thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode. This is Emmanuel Ken signing out.